Hello, and today we're going to take a look at how to upload a project in XTM Cloud. We're using XTM Workbench. The first thing you need to do to create, if you're making a new project, is to choose your customer name. In this case, the ID is test customer. You need to also choose your source language. In this case, Slovenian. You can just type in the first letter to make things a little bit quicker. Same here, we're going to look for English UK. It's quite a lot of options. Hope we can find it in a second. There it is. And just perfect. We click the arrow to add it. Where it says file for translation, you'll need to add your original document, which is a quick file, just with a few phrases in Slovenian. And then I think we're all ready to go. Or not, as we see this little arrow in the bottom letter saying the form contains errors because we've forgotten to add a project name. So let's just go up to the top. It's nicely highlighted there with the exclamation mark. So now that that's fixed, we can go back to hit create. The project is now being created. So once we can open and click to open up, we'll need to now open XTM Workbench. So if we go over to Workflow and hit Open XTM Workbench, the page will open. If you're working with an LSP, you'll probably find that this will be where you'll start anyway. I would say overall it's quite a nice cat tool. It's got a clean feel to it. It's pretty similar to most others. So we'll type in our text in English. Here is the target. To confirm the segment, all we need to do is click out of the segment into another segment, and we'll see that that green tick comes up. We'll type in the text for a second section. Obviously in real life you'd be doing something much bigger than this, but this is just for informational purposes only. We'll type in our last phrase just here, and then it'll be completed up. And again, just to complete, we will click out to get a final green tick. Now we're already, you can see in the bottom left, but that's 100% progress done. Any warnings that come up, such as this triangle, tell us there's an issue, for example, an extra piece of punctuation here. Same with spelling errors, they'll also come up and you'll be able to check those. Now that we're done, if you need to download the original file, you can go to File. Then you get the option to download the target. You might find that you have the option to submit instead to your LSP. Something that's pretty self-explanatory. But there we go, just to come out. There's the final file, which is all in English for us. And I hope that's been helpful for you. Have a great day.